talking about trigonometry two of the identities are very very important those trigonometric identities are sine 2x and cos 2x now let us start with the identity that is given most of the time before an exam this is the identity of sum of angles sum of angles identity although it need not be memorized but it always helps it is usually given at the beginning of sum now the first identity is sine of a plus b the common notion is we can just multiply sine with a and sine with b and we can write oh yes we can write sine a plus sine b but the problem is there is no such thing as sine sine is an order it is telling what to do to the angle which is a reference point for the side of a triangle so sine by itself doesn't exist it's the ratio of one side with another side in case of this sine ratio of the angle means the opposite side divided by the adjacent side so this thing is completely wrong it cannot be used let me remove this so this is done rather algebraically by looking at the values and simplifying it so the value of sine sum of angle is sine of the first angle cosine of the second angle plus uh, cosine of the first angle and sine of the second angle so this is sine a plus b similarly if it was sine a minus b it would be the same thing sine of the first angle cosine of the second angle since there is a minus there is going to be a minus cosine of the first angle sine of the second angle so this is how it's going to work now the same thing holds true for cosine sum of angles if you have cosine of sum of angles it is cosine of the first angle cosine of the second angle now here since this is added together by algebra this is negative so this would be sine of the first angle with sine of the second angle and in case of negative angle negative of the angles a minus b it would be cos cos minus so here will be plus and it will be sine sine so this is usually given uh, almost without exception so it's not a problem if you don't remember it now the identity that needs to be uh, it's very helpful if you memorize is this identity sine of twice x also called as the double angle is 2 sin x cos x and cos double angle is actually cos square x minus sin square x but using the basic trigonometric identities which is sin square plus cos square is 1 and rearranging it we can write two versions of this starting from here one is 1 minus 2 sin squared x and the other one is 2 cos squared x minus 1 so starting from this one we can actually get this two from here okay now the first question is how do we prove it so in the exam a question might be using sine a plus b prove that sine 2x is identical to 2 sine x cos x okay now the proof now while proving this an identity has to be broken down by the logic of uh, usually uh, started from Euclid how he proved uh, theorems Let's take the left hand side let me write LHS left hand side and start breaking it so sine 2x can be thought of as x plus x <coughs> and the clue is given here sine a plus b so x plus x so the first one is a and the second one is b so we have from this rule sine cos cos sine I can write sine x cos x plus cos x sine x and we know sine x cos x or cos x sine x the same thing just rearranged together 
so if we add it up together it will be 2 sin x cos x therefore the left hand side is now equal to the right hand side or we can say the identity and we can write a little QED here which means <coughs> uh, proved so it's uh, Latin uh, it perhaps it means quod erat demonstratum that Euclid used to write uh, after a proof he would write QED quod erat demonstratum demonstrantum something like that now the next one uh, is proving cos 2x so the question would be using cos a plus b and sine a plus b prove that cos 2x is identical to cos square x minus sine square x but usually uh, this can also be like this it can be this or it could be prove that cos 2x is identical to 1 minus 2 sine squared x or it could be something like this prove that cos 2x is identical to 2 cos squared x minus 1 doesn't really matter if you can prove this other two can be done by the basic trigonometric identities okay so this is the first one and this is the second one okay let's scroll down here a little bit okay now when we are talking about the first one so here cos 2x so we can take left hand side so cos 2x can be written as x plus x and it is using the cos a plus b identity that we have seen which is cos cos minus sine sine so we can write cos x cos a into cos x which is cos b so here is a plus here we have to write minus here so sine x into sine b so which is quite simply cos square x minus sine square x so therefore left hand side equal to right hand side now in doing number 2 cos square x is identical to 1 minus sine square x which is these two are more common the first one is not that common these two are more common in order to do that so what we do we do the whole thing uh, we write left hand side start from the beginning cos 2x is x plus x so we write cos x cos x minus sine x sine x and we write cos square x minus sine square x and re you'll remember about the basic identity the basic identity which says sine square of an angle plus cos square of an angle is identical to 1 look I'm not writing the 3 line all the time that's fine that's completely fine but the 3 line means identity so from here we know that cos square can be expressed as if you send the sine square to the other side 1 minus sine squared x and similarly sine squared can be expressed as 1 minus cos squared x now what we want to do here is we want to express our answer as 1 minus sine squared x so we have to get rid of this cos squared x and we can use that identity as 1 minus sine squared x and we have minus sine squared x now if we remove the bracket it will be 1 minus sine squared x minus sine squared x 1 minus 2 sine squared x so therefore the left hand side is now equal to the right hand side and we have proved QED proved so these two sums are extremely important I'm not doing this one because this one we come up to here and instead of uh, sine square x we write 1 minus cos square x and it would be 2 cos square x minus 1 is the same so this identity is extremely important for trigonometric identities it's you might say it's the beginning of trigonometric identities so any trigonometric identities that is done it has to start with this one this is given now after doing this uh, the next sums can be based on sine trisects, cos trisects, sine 4x, cos 4x. So starting from these identities, other identities can be done. 
In the next lecture, we can look at some actual examples of identities. But before that, I want to talk about a little about expressing these things, these identities. Now, you will see that uh, I have used sine square x, cos square x, and sometimes it might be confusing what it is. Uh, a little note on that. Sine x multiplied by sine x is denoted as sine squared x. It has nothing to do with the angle. Sine ratio of the angle x, this, this should be the complete term. So whenever sine x is multiplied with sine x, some people might mistake it as sine x squared. No, the angle cannot be changed because the angle is the same. So this is wrong. It is not the angle that is being multiplied. Even sine cubed means sine x multiplied by sine x multiplied by sine x. It is completely different to sine x cubed, which means sine ratio of the angle, which is x cubed. So this is, this is important to remember how the square of a sine is expressed.